myself, ladies. We welcome you to your word and your worship experience. Ain't that good? Come on, y'all. Let you know. Let you know. That you appreciate him for waking you up this morning. You appreciate him for allowing your feet to hit the floor this morning. Amen. Oh, we serve a mighty good God. God is good. And who is God? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on and stand with me as we recite our victory word vision. We're thankful. We're thankful for vision. We're thankful. All right, it's on your screen. Let's go. The victory word church is a place where you will experience freedom and worship in connection with others who are in your relationship. Compassion for the lost. And the teaching of God's word in love. A place where lives are being changed, hurts are being healed, and hope is being restored. We are empowered lives to live purposely for Him. Hallelujah! Amen, amen, amen. Please be seated in the house of the Lord. On this Sunday, April the 30th, all right, quote of the week. Surround yourself with people who fight for you in rooms you aren't in. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. To be informed of VWC events and happenings, please text VWC to 59769. And you will be added to our church mobile text. Mm -hmm. And join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for the Voice of Victory Virtual Bible Study. Yes, Looking yes. forward to seeing you in our Cyber Sanctuary on Facebook Live. Let's remember to support our co-lead, Elder Allen Wilder, this afternoon as he <clears throat> is the guest speaker for Willis Temple's Men's Day Program. And that is at 3 p.m. Next Sunday, May the 7th. Listen good, Victory Word, the word family. Next Sunday, May 7th, we will be having virtual service only. And time will still be at 11 a.m., but virtual only. All right? Mark your calendars. Put a reminder. So if you decide to come to the sanctuary, that's not, that's not the day. <laughs> also, mark your calendars for Sunday, June 11th. Yes. At 4 p.m., we will be celebrating our pastor's 11th pastoral anniversary. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. More details will be coming forward as time gets nigh, but know that we will not be having our 11 o'clock a.m. service on that Sunday. The service will be held at 4 p.m. Right? Mark your calendars, mark your calendars. Hallelujah. Big grats to our sister Boston Oliver as she will be graduating from University of Kentucky on Saturday, May 6th. It has no limits. Yes. We are God. We proud of yes. you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Mm. Yes. All right, boss. <laughs> all right. Yes. All right. Happy last birthday anniversary to all who are celebrating for this month of May. And on Monday, May 1st, <clears throat> let's wish Sister Kayla Marshall a happy blessed birthday. Hallelujah. And on Saturday, May 6th, Sister Brenda Hall will be right. celebrating her birthday anniversary. Yeah. That's Mama across the valley, amen? Amen, amen, amen. 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 <laughs> May God bless each and every one who are celebrating <clears throat> for this month of May that's coming. And may the Lord continue to bless each and every one for many, many, many more celebrations. As we transition into our time of giving, remember, remember, remember this. Giving is worship. Amen. Yes. All right? Amen. And it allows us to give back to the one who first gave. 
Let's honor the Lord with our giving. We give because we trust God. We honor God. We give because we're blessed. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, it's not how much we give. It's about how much love and consistency we put into our giving. Amen. Amen. Each one must give as he has decided in his or her heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. And the purpose of tithing is to teach us to always put God first. Yes. Amen. Amen. So as you prepare for your giving, you can go to our website at www.victorywordchurch.org and hit the giving button. And you can use your debit card to continue to help in the upbuilding of the kingdom of God. And that is via PayPal. You can also make your donations via Giver Club. And as always, and, I'll, and I, I forget to mention this sometimes because we don't always have a mailbox, but we do have a secure, keep secured lock mailbox. So if you happen to be in the neighborhood, you can drop your giving, your sow, your seeds into our secure mailbox and we will definitely check it once we get here. And as always, we thank you for always being so giving. Thank you and God bless you. If you need to reach Pastor Michael, myself, Lady T, give us a call on the church office phone at 313-243-4512. If you have need for a special prayer, please make your prayer request at request at gmail.com. Or go to our website, www.victorywordchurch.org, and hit the prayer request tab, and it will go directly to our pastor, and we will pray with and for you. Amen. Remember to keep our pastor in our prayers, positive vibes, as he continues to hear from the Lord on our behalf. Amen. 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 Our prayers are purposeless. Our Victory Word Church family. Pastor D. Young First Lady, Harvilla New Life Ministries Worldwide, the Spirit of the Church in the Army, Pastor Marco Pittman, and the New Prosperity Baptist Church, Bishop Leonard Gardner and family, Pastor Gregory and Lady Smith in the Zion Hill Baptist Church, Pastor James and First Lady Reigns in the Ecclesia Christian Ministries, Pastor Dorn and Lady Morrison in Higher Praise Worship Center, Pastor James and First Lady Minnick in the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church, Pastor Charleston and Co Pastor Michelle Day, and the Road Church, Minister LaRue Clay, Sister Marsha White and family, Minister Carol Hicks, Nigel, Nigel Colston, Jacqueline Ware, Damas Henry White, Peter White, uh, Deacon Karen Edmund, the family of the late Velvet Dozer, Pastor James Marks and family in our Victory Road Church located in the country of India, Pastor Daniel Mose and family in our Victory Road Church located in the country of Kenya, Detroit Police and Fire Department. All of the school assistants and students at all levels, on all levels, first responders and healthcare and essential workers, and a special prayer for the sick, the shut in, and the bereaved. If you have anyone to add to our prayers of purpose list, just give us a call on the church office phone at 313 243 4512. Don't forget to go to our Facebook page for the awesome anointed word of the week. And remember, we are living our future now. Hallelujah. All right, put those first hands together. It's given time. It is given time. If you are in need of an envelope, please see Aaron the Elder Avenue. Let me assist you. Remember to rotate what you are sowing your seed into. Amen. And God bless us to your forever. Hallelujah.
stretch your hands. Father God, we thank you this morning for the blessings that you have already bestowed upon us, Father. We thank you for the seeds that have been sown into this ministry on today, Father. May they be used to increase the knowledge of you, Christ Jesus, and may they be used for the upkeeping of this temple, Father God. Father, bless each and every giver. Bless each and every one that desired to give and didn't have it, Father God. Bless us, Father. Continue to lift us up, for oh, you are our strength. Yes, this yes. is my prayer, and it is so. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Tell you what, my best friend, I got to keep chasing after him because he's my strength. And when you recognize your source, your source of strength, where it comes from, You'll do more chasing. He ain't running from us, though. We ain't really got to chase him. We really just got to be in his presence. Amen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, so let's prepare our minds, our hearts, and our souls to be fed this morning. So as you stand to your feet, I always ask you to stay here. Stay put. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Don't have no out body experience. Stay here so you can receive what God has for you today. Amen. Yeah. All right, so let's give a Shabbat. that again. Yes, yes, yes. You are my strength. Yes, yes. Strength of the Lord. Yes. In the fullness of his grace. Yes, yes. I wish I had some witnesses in the house today. In the fullness of his grace. The power. The power of his name. Something about the name Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Something about that name. Sweetest name I know. Mm. The fullness of his grace. Yes. Power. Yes. Power of his name. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I thank you that you lift me up. Yes, yes, yes. When I felt cast down, you lifted me up. When I had tears in my eyes, you 
Lift me up because yes. of the power in your name. Yes. Somebody ought to just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All I've gone through, all I've been through, was you, Lord, putting me through. The power in your name. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. For you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of my worship. Yes, yes. Give you the honor. Give you the glory. I'll give you the praise. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Why? Because you are my strength. Yes. Yes. Strength like no other. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Father, for reaching for me. Yes. Yes. You reached out for me. Yes. When everyone else had given up on me, you reached out because you are my strength. Yes, you are. You are. You are my strength. We were singing that song this morning. Tears just start flowing as I begin to think about how good he's been. Yes, yes, yes. How good he's been to you. Yes, yes, he's been just that good. Let, let, let's come on, let's get into this word this morning and let's pray. I thank God for all of you that's here in the sanctuary. And we thank you for those that are watching by Facebook Live, our YouTube channel. God is just that good. Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious Father, we come before you first and foremost, Lord, right now saying thank you. Lord, thank you for your grace and your mercy towards us. Lord God, I thank you because not only are you our God, but you are our Father and holy is your name. Father, you are my strength. Father, you are a strong tower. Father, you're a burden bearer. Heavy load carry. Yes. Lord, we thank you right now for your healing power in this house. We thank you for just being who you are. And we're blessed because of whose we are. And so right now, Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight for you are my strength and my redeemer. And it is so. And it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Would you stand as we read the word of God this morning, which is found in St. John, the 14th chapter, first through the six verses, reading from the King James Version, and the word of God. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, yes. the truth, and the life. Yes. Yes. I'll say that again. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, yes. the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Right. Amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. 
Thank you, Word. Word family, I want to preach for a few, for a few moments from the sermon topic. All individuals, main gate, no exceptions. All individuals, main gate, no exceptions. Would you look at your neighbor and just say, neighbor? neighbor. Oh, you can do better than that. Say, neighbor. neighbor. There's no side gate. There's no side gate. No back gate. No back gate. Just the main gate. Just the main gate. Turn to your other neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Come around to the front. Come, come around, around to the front. front. reassures us that faith in him is faith in God. All right. To know Christ is to know the way, the truth, and the life. All right. All right. The words, actions, and miracles of Jesus should give us as believers the confidence to trust that he will make good on his promises. All right. Among those are his guarantee that he is preparing to come for us so we can be where he is. Yes. Jesus also gives us the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. This is only available to believers. All right. Yeah. And this dimension of God guides, teaches, and reminds us, both for the disciples and for future believers, these words are meant to be comforting during hard times. Since Christ knew in advance what would happen, we can be even more confident to trust him. All individuals, remember this, you have to come through the main gate. No exceptions. There's no exceptions. Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled. I'm here to, to, to comfort someone to let you know that God is still with you and he hasn't forgotten you. The problem is you keep trying to come through a different entrance. We keep trying to make God do what we want him to do, how we want him to do, when we want him to do. And he keeps telling us, I'm going to do it if you come straight through the gate. Uh, before I get into my my sermonic uh, argument this morning, <laughs> we go back to my introduction. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed because I was sitting at work, and first of all, let me just say, you know, I God has blessed me so that I get the opportunity and the privilege to work in my brother's company. Right. Amen. 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 And so with that comes a responsibility that because I'm the 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 brothers, because I'm the brothers, because the owner is my brother, then I have to do a little extra in my character because I don't want even the little thought to, for anyone to think that because of our relationship, I get something extra or get away with something. So I have to be above what everybody else right. is. Yeah. Why? Because I have to be straight at the gate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, got straight again. So, so, so many of us miss out because we want something easy because of who we know. Mm. Come on now. So we think because we know God, God ought to do something a little extra. No, no, no. You need to do something extra for Him because He is your God. Right. 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 But let me digress. I digress. I digress. So. I'm sitting at work, and I'm blessed to be the face of the particular uh, site that we work at. Um, I work at the gate. No one comes in unless I let them. All right, all right, all right. 
The owner doesn't get to come in. The president doesn't get to come in. Even though it's their, it's their company. But just because it's their company, there's still rules and regulations for the gate. Yes. The gate is there to protect those that's on the inside. And to keep certain things on the outside. On, right there, right there. And if you're not supposed to be there on a particular date or time, no matter how much you come to the gate, if you're not on schedule, you ain't coming in. Right, right, right. Oh, let me help someone today. If it's not time for you to come in, you will not get in. I don't care who you know. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. So after... You know that you are part of the company, the team, whatever it is. You have a responsibility just to do what? Be where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there so you can do what? Come through the gate. Yeah, right. uh, wouldn't it be nice because you're in a certain family? or Wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to go to work? You could just send your sister or your brother to your job. And they could go into work for you. Wouldn't that be nice for you to just say, you know what? I'm not, I don't feel it today. Let me call my sister and, and see if she doesn't mind going in and do the job for me today. Wouldn't that be nice for you to have somebody that can do it for you? I mean, and do the exact same, do well. I'm not saying they just go in for your name, but actually go in and do your job. Wouldn't that be nice? But it don't work that way. Why do we think it works that way for God? Oh, pray for me. Come on, God. Yeah, I'm going to pray for you, but you need to do what you need to do in order to come through the gate. I, I continue to try to get us to see that there is a work that you must do as a person that is connected to a true and living God, no exceptions to the rules, you got to come through the main gate. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and Jesus says, because in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, he said, I go to prepare a place for you. Guess what? If he's in me, then he's prepared me to be able to walk through the gate knowing that no weapon formed against me right. shall prosper. Why? Because I'm not trying to sneak in. Right. 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 And many of us in the church are trying to sneak in through another gate instead of coming through the main gate. Right. Jesus said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. In other words, he's letting you know, pattern your life after me. Mm -hmm. Pattern your life after him. Yeah. He is the life. Yeah. He died so that you could do what? Live. Right. So since he died for you to live, you might as well live a life of abundance. Right. Somebody's going to catch it today. Come on. Uh, we just sung that he is our strength. Mm -hmm. Strength like no other. Yeah. If he is your strength like no other, then you ought to be able to lean on him in the time of trouble. Right, right. In the time of challenges, he is my strength. Yes, yes, yes he is. Yes, yes, he is. Why? And, and, and he has prepared you for whatever it is you're walking in right now. All right, Amen. all right. Can I submit to you that the reason the enemy is bothering you right now, messing with your finance, Messing with your health, messing with your job, messing with your relationship. May I submit to you today, the reason is not for where you are right now. He is trying to stop you from where God is going with you. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Has nothing to do with where you are. Has everything to do with where you're going. All right, all right, all right. All right. And so you think it's coming against you because of something wrong. No, it's coming because God has a promise and the enemy wants to stop you from getting your blessing. He's trying to stop you from going through the gate. But I'm here to tell someone today, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting. I wish I had some witnesses today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Amen, amen.
what he's saying. What does he say? There's no side doors. No back doors. It's nice in this building we have a side door for emergency. We have back doors. But the door and the gate is two different things. Yeah, all right. yeah. Come on the, the straight gate. The, the, the gate that God has says, listen, no, 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 no. No, you can't sneak in. You can't. You got to you got to come you got to come through the gate. You you yeah. you can't come through the side door. You can't come through a window. Right, right, no, right. even if the window is open, he said he'll open up a window for you. Yeah. He did not tell you to come through the window. Right. He said for you to come through the gate. He right. told you to come. Right. come Straight on. is the way that lead them to life. Broad is the way that lead them to destruction. Yeah. You got to come straight through the door, the straight yeah. gate. Right. Right, right. Yeah. Amen, yeah. Amen, amen. Yeah. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not where thou goest. And how can we know the way? Jesus said, Let me make it plain for you since you don't know where I'm going and where I'm, I'm just going to let you know. I'm the way. Yeah. I'm the gate. Right. In other words, if you connect with me, he'll open up for you so that you can walk through the gate boldly. All right, all right, all right. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Oh. Victory word, word family. There are some things that you have to understand that you cannot live a reckless life and think you're going to come through the gate. Right. All right. All right. What do you mean, Pastor? This is a reckless life. Let me show you what recklessness is. Recklessness is when you think you can do all that you want to do, and I don't even mean in a negative way, but when you try to do all that you can do for your brother, your sister, your this one, your that one, that you give all of yourself to someone and you give it all out of your own strength, you are living a reckless life. You are living a reckless life when you don't turn it over to him. Because while you're worrying about it, he had already fixed it. He's already worked it out. While you're trying to figure it out, God has worked it out. But you can't get to it because you're still trying to figure it out in your own way, in your own mind, the way you've always done it. And I'm here to tell you today, if you continue to do what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've been getting right now, which is nothing. We have to understand we as the believers having a kingdom consciousness can no longer do things the way we've always done it. Right, 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 yes. We have to trust God. We have to believe God. And the only way you can do any of that is what we've been working on this past month of understanding the preparation of prayer. Right, right, right how we grow and move it. But see, a lot of us don't just can't get over us. That's why we can't see the gate. All right. Because we can't get over our own. We just think we that smart. Mm. And it's okay. Because this is what I've learned. God is so good. You know, he, he doesn't, he does we, we were taught, we were taught this archaic process of God is this, this, mean and he's going to punish you and all of that you know if you don't do what God says he's going to strike you down he's going to, you know the God that I serve is a relationship God this is what I'm trying to get us to say when you don't do what you're supposed to do God doesn't beat you up for you not doing what you're supposed to do. Right. All, all, the only thing is, is that you don't reap what you could have reaped by being obedient to him. God loves you. He loves all of us. But I'll put it into this position. I'll put it this way for you to understand. When you have children, you love all your children. But the children that's obedient the most, yeah. you hear them faster. It's not that you don't keep a roof over the other one's head. You don't provide for them. 
But there's a special relationship that when the one that's being obedient asks for something, right. you're quicker to move for them. Why? Because they have been obedient to right. what? The rules and regulations that you have set. Right. The more and more that we are obedient and line up with God's word, the faster he moves for you right. because he knows you're moving the way he has instructed you to move. Right. That's right. why most of us live in his permissive will and not his divine will. Right. His permissive will allows you to do all that you can do. But when you learn how to live in his divine will, there's something extra in your spirit that when troubles come, you can still say, Lord, he's sweet, I know. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why you see so many people looking old before they're tired because they're handling things in their own way. Yeah. When are we as the believers that have a kingdom consciousness that know that God can change it? He can change it in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah, yeah, I'm believing him for debt cancellation. Yes, yes, right. yes. yes. I, I'm trusting and believing yes. that he'll do it yes. supernaturally. Yes. Amen. He can do it. Yes. The question is, do you want to get in his divine will or do you just want to stay in his permissive will? And that's why I'm telling all individuals, main gate, no exceptions. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, you, you, in order to get it the way in order to get it all, you got to do it the way God says, do it. Right. Right. I wish I had someone in here to hear me today. There's, there's some things that God is just waiting for us to give to you. But you know what? You won't take the time and find out how it is that I can connect with him in me, that I can hear him when he speaks, the same way Jesus told Peter, well, he told one of the disciples when they were talking about paying that it was tax season. Mm -hmm. They had to pay their taxes. Mm -hmm. And Jesus told them to go down to the river. Go down to the water. He said, and get the pearl out of the fish's mouth. Mm -hmm. He said, and then you go pay your taxes and pay mine. What are you saying? Now, I'm not saying that something is just going to fall out of the sky and do that for you. But what I am saying, there is a principle in being obedient. Yes, yes, yes. Obedience brings a grace over your life that I cannot even articulate with my mouth. All right, all right. There is a grace that God will give you just out of your obedience yes. to him. Yes. My God, Jesus. And so when you start knowing that I got more bills than I have money, but I got more God than I have bills. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And when I start functioning in that way, God will stretch it out. He will stretch it out. He will stretch it out. He will stretch it out because I am using the principle. He will show you a way. He will show you the way yes, that yes. it will be such a lift off, a, a burden lift off, lifted off of you mm -hmm. that you won't even understand how it happened. Yes. Oh God! Yes. I, I, I want. I wish I could get you to see that the more and more that you start walking on that path to go through the main gate, mm -hmm. the main gate. You too busy trying to do it in another way right. because that's what you've always known to do. We've always known how to make a way. I gotta make it happen. I gotta make it happen. No, I don't have to make anything happen right. because I serve a God that makes all things happen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And the more and more that I connect with him, is there anybody in the room that wants to connect with him? Yeah. Yeah. Then if you want to connect with him, you gotta let something go. What do I have to let go? My doubt. Yeah. I got to let go. My fears. Yeah. I got to let go. My misunderstanding. Yeah. I got to let go. of My family traditions. Yeah. I got to let go of all of these other things that's stopping me or hindering me yeah. from doing what? Walking through the gate. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, victory word, word family, hear me this morning. The more and more that you let go of you, then you can see your real you. Right. You got to be willing to let go of you. And in letting go of you, start forgiving others because they're not who you want them to be, who you thought they should be, who you who they say they are. When you find out who they really are, right. still forgive. Right. Forgiveness. Listen, Pastor Weldon Smith, he said this one day, bless me. He said, forgiveness is free. But trust is expensive. Right. Mm -hmm. It is. You, when, you, when you forgive, you free yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But that ought to tell you that everybody is not supposed to be in your inner circle. Right. Right. And guess what? When I say inner circle, there can be some people around you, and, the, and that doesn't necessarily mean you allow them in your inner circle, because your inner circle is based on your mind. Right. Do not right. let them penetrate right. your mind, right. your thought process. Don't allow their system to become your system. Right, right, yes. All right, yes. Deliver me, Father, yes. first from me. Yes, Lord. Because if you deliver me from me, then I'll be able to deal with others that you will allow to leave me. Yes, yes. There's some that need to leave you so you can go through the gate uninhibited. All right, all right. Because many are on the path to the gate. But it's taking you long to get through the entrance because you got so many other things pulling on you and they you dragging them too. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't drag through the gate when God is trying to pull away from you. Yeah, right. And no matter how much church you have, if you don't believe and if you don't, it, it's about it's about release. Release. I'm always telling you to release. Because if you release, then you can receive. All right. All right. It's catch yeah. and release. Yeah. Catch and release. Yeah. And the more and more that you release, the more and more you can catch. All right. But if you ain't willing to release it, you if you got a lot in your hand, a lot on you already, how you gonna catch anything? Victory word, word, family. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Thomas asked the question, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? It's amazing to me. Jesus had to let him, them, the, the disciples know that they were with him. Why don't you know? You should know. You've been with me all of this time. Realize this. Just because people are in your company, does not know does not mean that they know who you are. Right. All right. All right. There are people that have been with you a long time and still don't know who you are. Mm -hmm. You know why they don't know who you are? Because they can't connect with you because they're still trying to figure out who they are. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah. Anytime you get around people that's always bragging, always the, they they still trying to figure it out. Right. They, 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 there, there are so many people that have low self-esteem, so they overcompensate themselves. They don't try to overcompensate by acting like they all of that. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you, all you have to do is be you. That's all you have to do is be you. And what you really need to do is sit down have a talk with that heavenly father that lives in you and ask him, Father, what's next for me? Has right. anybody just taken the time out to ask God, what do you have next for me? And the more and more you tune into him, this is the first thing he's going to say. Well, you got to come through the main gate. There's no exceptions have to do it this way. I have to do it God's way. Why do I do it God's way? I'm glad you asked because every time I've done it my way, I got some 
I got some something out of it, but it was just temporary. Right. Is there anybody in here that wants something that's everlasting? Right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, just yeah. here today, gone yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. I don't want some tiny joy. I want joy unspeakable. Yeah. I don't want just a little peace. I want peace like that. I want perfect peace. I don't yeah. want just yeah. some of it. I want it all the time. I don't just want it on Sunday morning. I just don't listen, listen, Victory Work. You got to serve him more than just when you come in this building and him just praise and worship. You got to praise and worship him at home tonight. You got to praise and worship him in the morning. You got to praise and worship him while you're driving in your car. Come on, somebody. You ought to praise. Why do I praise him? I'm glad you asked. Because if it had not been for the Lord, who was on my side, when my enemies came against me, they would have smothered me. They would have drowned me. Lord, but I'm thanking you today because of your grace, because of your mercy, because of your great name. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes. You lifted me up. You lifted me up. You lifted me up, yeah. my burdens. Yeah. You lifted me out of things. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, I just got to thank you this morning. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I got to thank you. I got to praise in my mouth. Yeah. And what I love about the text, it starts off with a, a declared sentence. Let not your heart be troubled. Amen. Your heart is where you carry your feelings about your love. But this ain't right. And you're praying for someone who ain't trying to do right. Yeah. I'm here to tell you that like Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. 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 The songwriter put it this way. I'm so glad troubles don't last always. I'm so glad I found me a hiding place. Yes. Is there anybody glad to know that troubles don't last always? Yes. Yes. There's a brighter day ahead. Yes. That I'm moving in that direction. Yes. Yes. That I'm serving a God that has never failed me yet. Yes. Even in my, even in my troubles. Even in my imperfection, yes. he still says that I'm his child. Yes. I just yes. got to get my feet ready yes. to walk straight. Yes. Because he who knew no sin became right. sin so that we may be called the righteousness of God. Yes. Yes. And you as righteous people have no business dealing with things that you can't handle. Yes. You got to turn it over to him and let him work it out. Yes. The word of God says this, the day, the day, the day you hear my voice. Harden not your heart. Mm -hmm. The reason that I don't want your heart to be hardened is because I can fix it if you allow me to fix it. Yeah. And Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled. I'm coming for someone today whose heart is troubled. Mm -hmm. Um, there's some things that God really wants to do for you. But you got to be ready to let go. I know you've never been in a, none of us have ever been in a plane 30,000 feet or 20,000 feet, whatever it is. None of us have been in a plane And they open the patch and tell you to jump. None of us have. But there is something called skydiving. 
And when you go through the training of it, they take you up in the plane, however so many feet. They put the parachute on. And they tell you to jump. And when you jump, many times they have you not to jump forward, but to, to jump um, back. But in order for it to work, you got to jump. If you don't jump, then why did you go up there? I'm asking you, Victory Word, if you're not willing to jump, then why are you serving God? You got to be willing to jump. Now, the beauty of the jump is this. Once you jump, all you have to do, there's something you have to do. There's only one thing you have to do. Pull the, pull the cord. Yeah. And when you pull the cord, the, the, the chute opens. How many of you would jump out of a plane and never pull the cord? Right. So why do you keep jumping out of stuff or into stuff and not letting God be your shoe? Right. All right. All right. When, when, a, when a diver dives in, in deep water, when the divers, every time I've seen it on, on, on uh, television, Nicole, they, they sit, when, when, when they go in to rescue you, rescue, none of them jump, jump into out right. They sit on the side of the boat and they do what? They fall backwards. Because they fall backwards because they need the momentum to carry them down. When you're in the plane, you need the chute to carry you down. That's God. When you're going into deep water, you need the momentum to carry you down. That's God. In other words, if you're in the air, it's, it's, it's God. If you're going in the water, it's God. Yeah. Yeah. The momentum is God. Yeah. And what the more and more that you read, that you don't fight, they, when they're falling in the water, they don't fight the current. What They go with the flow because yeah. why? The tank is on their back to carry them, and they, then they do all what is necessary. When the person is in the sky and they jump out of the plane, they do what? They are... They, they are allowing the elements to carry them to a certain degree, but then they have to pull the cord. Yeah, I dare on. any one of you today, if you would just pull yeah. the cord, right. you won't hit the ground, you will land safely. Yeah. Many of us can't land safely is because we will not pull the cord, and because we are not pulling the cord, you can't come through the gate. Right. All right. All right. So, All right. so that's why you continue to fall. To fall when it comes to relationships. When it fall when it comes to finances. When fall when it comes to job opportunity. Fall because you won't pull the cord. And many of us are still sitting in the plane. The plane just keep going round and round and round. Not only have we not pulled the cord, we ain't even jumped. So today, I just want us to see the importance of coming through the gate. And Jesus says, I'm the way. Right. I'm here to share to you today, with you today, that if he's the way, then stop getting in the way. All right, all right, all right. If he's the truth, then stop listening to lies. All right, all right. <laughs> If he is the life, then stop allowing your life to be minimized with other people's mess. The day you get delivered from people will be the day you decide to jump. Listening to this, you too old, you too this, you ain't got enough money, you don't have enough education. Do you have enough God is the question. Yes, yes, yes. That is the true question. Yes. How much God do you have? Yes. Because God supersedes any degree 
any amount of money if you put him first and you decide to jump. And when you do, make that move, and you pull the cord. Yes. When when the when 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 those uh, skydivers jump and they pull the cord as they come down, so they get to see the beauty of what's around them. Right. Have you ever been able to be in a position or in a dimension of God that when you're coming down, He shows you the beauty that's around you? Mm-hmm. How He kept you. How he, sh- how he tries to show you the beauty when you allow him to be the first fruit of your life. Yes, yes. And you keep trying to do it yourself, do it yourself, do it yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's why you up and down and up and down. And I'm not saying life doesn't happen, but because life happens does not mean you have to be up and down. Right. Yeah. Because everything works in seasons, in, in cycles. So every day may not be Sunday, but every day is a God day. Right. Yeah. 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 And because it is a God day, and I'm, a, and I'm one of God's children, then nothing that happens in that day is nothing going to happen that me and God can't handle. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Nothing. And guess what? The enemy will squeeze you and try to put pain on your body, yeah. put things in your mind, and you know what? You have to pull the cord. Yeah. You have to pull it. So he can move Because first, when you jump out, I forgot this part, when you jump out of the plane, when you pull the cord, you don't go down, you really elevate up yeah. and start to see. Yeah. When you pull the cord, you don't go down, you elevate. Yeah. Yeah. Once you decide that I'm going to do it God's way, he, and you yeah. jump, you think you're falling, and it mm. takes you up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Takes you up. Mm-hmm. And then brings you down mm-hmm. peacefully. Yes. Yeah. Does anybody want to come down peacefully? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I need, I need to come down peacefully. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. How do you come down peacefully? I said it today. In the fullness of his grace. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. The power of his name. You lift me up. Did y'all hear what I just said? Yes. You lift me up. Because you're my strength. And because you are my strength, I can come through the gate now. Anybody willing to come through the gate now? Are, are, Are you willing to come through the gate? Listen, the songwriter said, he's so wide you can't go around him. Right. He's so high you can't go over him. Uh-huh. He's so deep you can't go under him. You must right. come in. You got to come in. Sure. Victory word, word. Now, guess what? There ain't no shortcuts. You got to come through the gate, the yeah. gate, the gate. Yeah. And Jesus said, to be upon this rock, I build my church and the very gates of hell will not prevail. Victory word, guess what? The gates of hell won't prevail against you if you decide to do it God's way. All right, all right, all right. Do I have anybody here today? Yes, yes. That's willing to do it God's way. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Would you give God a hand praise? Yes. We are willing today. Amen. But let me say this as I was preaching, as I was feeling it in my spirit, as I was feeling it today. You know, there's so much. There's so many things uh, that we've learned that we have to uh, be retaught in our thinking, how how we do. And I'm, and I'm trying to teach that here at Victory Word. But this is what I'm going to say. I'm not, I'm, I'm, it, it, listen, after service today, we're going to do it this way. If there's anybody in this room or that's watching, I want you to, you can you can just either text me, text those that have the, the church, text, just text it. But those here, if you're dealing with finances, the short, see me after church. Yeah. Right. See me today. Amen. Because I'm going to show you something that's going to change your world. Okay. Yeah. 
if there's someone that's dealing with any kind of, you ain't got to, you, you know, we don't want to say it in front of people. You come see me in the office, however you want to do it. Text me later, call me, however you want to do it. If you want to keep it private, if you don't want nobody to know your business, that's fine. Because I have to show you the principle of a supernatural God. And I would not share this with you if it hadn't worked for me. Yeah, I'm going to give you a little testimony. I shared it in, in prayer the other night. Uh, my, my, my son, uh, MJ, y'all all know MJ. He, he's a coach in Ohio. And, and he was going to, we had been praying with him. And, and he was here for prayer the first week of the prayer when we were going, just showing you how prayer works would just trust it. And we were in prayer, and, and there were some things he wanted to do. We were praying for it to come, to come into fruition. And so he he has he had a, a interview uh, job to go to um, uh, uh, Maine, I believe it is, to uh, coach football in Maine. But, you know, it's a long ways away. And uh, uh, he, he really didn't want to go. Uh, you can tell he didn't want to go. So long story short, um, God blessed him with a new position. A new position. Doing what he loves, coach. I'm not going to go into the details of it because it doesn't happen until tomorrow. But, um, but here back in the state of Michigan. Maybe next week I can go into it more. But the blessing is that God works yes. if you stay faithful. Yes. If you stay faithful, he, do, he does things supernaturally that you don't even have to be qualified for right. because you're qualified with him. Right. Now, I'm not saying you don't have to do the work, do the diligence, do all of those things, but what people don't realize is that, or, or that we as kingdom people live in a different system. Right. And once you understand how the system works and the word, how you have to work the word and then be patient and wait on the Lord in his timing, it will be for your benefit. But we cannot, the reason that we don't have it the way we want it is because we force the process. We, 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 we move it too quickly. And God has something, he has a blessing with all of our names on it, but there's a time frame in which it comes. Right. And you have to understand to be patient and be able to wait on the Lord. Yes. 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 I don't mean wait standing still. I mean wait as a waiter that waits on a person at, the, at, at a restaurant. Right. Wait on the Lord. In other words, be a servant-minded person. Right. Right. Anyway. If there's one that would like to give their life to Christ, this is your opportunity right now to say, I'm ready to come through the gate. I surrender myself, Lord. I, 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 I repent. I, I, I ask for the forgiveness of my sin. I accept the Lord Jesus the Christ as my Lord and Savior. I, I want to be a mirror image of Christ in the earth. I want my life to mean something. To be something. I want to be a part of the body of Christ. If you prayed that prayer, that's all it took for you. To come on back home. I challenge you to just join the church that will teach you the realities of serving a true and living God. A God that's not far off beyond the sun, the moon, and the stars. I'm talking about a God that lives in you and I. Amen. That God that wakes you up in the morning. That God that gives you that 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 feeling. That, that thing that you can't even put into word. That's the God I'm talking about. And if that church is the Victory Word Church, we are a judgment-free zone. We don't beat you up. We pick you up. We watch God lift you up. We don't ask you to come down the aisle and tell us about your Christian experience. All we say, all you have to do is see one of us, one of the ministers, one of the members. We'll pray with you the prayer of salvation. 
and we will invite you to be a part of the Victory Word Church. Amen. 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 Victory Word, Word family, I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday in virtual Bible study this coming Wednesday. And then next Sunday, we will just be virtual first Sunday. Amen. Amen. Tell your brothers and sisters that's not here. We'll be virtual first Sunday, but we'll be right back here on Mother's Day, second Sunday, and we will have communion on Mother's Day. Amen? Amen. 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 Victory Word, I love you. We love you here at the Victory Word Church. We can't wait to see you come and be a part of this word and worship experience. We want to stand to your feet. We're going home. We want to, we want to support you on the alley this afternoon. For those that will be there, let's be there to push it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Let's go get the word. Let's go. Thank you.